Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, slow heart rate. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos from the channel. And this way you can support this channel and uh, if you need more information, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesintreatment.com, you know. Now come to the topic, slow heart rate. How to understand that, you know. You know, your heart rate is uh, the number of beats per minute of your heart. And your heart is the muscular organ, which is located in the chest, uh, behind and uh, to the left of the breastbone, you know. And that maintains the, like, uh, circulation of the blood, you know. And this is his main responsibility that it circulates the blood in the body, you know, from head to toe, you know. And the heart rate is the, uh, is a measure of like cardiac activity, in fact, you know. And the heart rate is one of the vital signs. And the vital signs uh, like body temperature, pulse, breathing rate, and blood pressure. And they provide the information about the person's state of uh, health, you know. And uh, any abnormality of these signs can uh, offer the diagnostic clues or values, you know. And, you know, a slow heart rate is uh, considered anything uh, slower than 50 beats per minute uh, for an adult or a child while at rest, you know. And uh, there are alternative names for the slow heart rate and uh, like bradycardia, uh, uh, you know, maybe slow pulse or maybe slow heartbeat or pulse rate decreased, you know, decreased heart rate, low heart rate, decreased heartbeats, bradycardia. So these are the different names which are used for the same medical condition. You know? And bradycardia is the uh, medical name for this condition, you know. Uh, you know, you can measure your uh, own heart rate and uh, first find your uh, heart rate by holding a finger on the radial artery at the wrist, you know. And uh, other places that can be measured are the neck, okay, and the groins, which is the femoral artery, and the neck, which is the carotid artery, and the radial artery, yeah, okay. So, then count the number of beats per minute, okay, and uh, while you are resting and uh, you know the resting adult heart rate is normally 60 to 100 beats per minute and the athletes or the people on certain medications may have the low resting normal uh, rate you know and the normal heart rate for the children uh, aged 1 to 12 years is 80 to 110 beats per minute and the normal heart rate for the infants of age uh, 1 to 12 months is 100 to 160 beats per minute, you know. And the problems, there are certain term problems, you know, that can uh, accompany the slow heart rate, you know, and uh, your heart rate should be strong and uh, regular without any missed beats, you know. And if it's uh, beating slower than the normal rate, it might in indicate a medical problem, like fainting or dizziness or maybe uh, loss of consciousness, you know, weakness, fatigue, okay. And in some cases, a slow heart rate is an indication of an extremely, uh, like, uh, healthy heart, you know. And uh, the example is like athletes, you know, often have slower heart rate, you know, because their heart is strong and does not have to work uh, as hard to pump uh, the blood throughout the body, you know. 
so when a slower heart rate is uncommon or accompanied by other symptoms it could be sign of something which is more serious you know and uh, you know the medical evaluation is necessary to determine uh, the cause of the slow heart rate you know like ECG or EKG you know which is known as uh, electrocardiogram you know or maybe lab test you know and other diagnostic studies may need to be done you know and uh, there are certain potential medical causes that can uh, slow the heart rate and they include like uh, abnormal heart rhythms anorexia nervosa or maybe autonomic uh, uh, dysreflexia, you know, or maybe autoimmune, uh, autonomic, uh, maybe neuropathy, or maybe heart attack, or elevated potassium, you know, or maybe stroke, side effects of certain medications, okay, and uh, hypothermia, uh, sick sinus syndrome, or maybe AV node damage, you know, so these are the different medical causes of the slow heart rate, you know, and uh, the treatment depends on the underlying condition, you know, which is causing this uh, slow heart rate. And uh, if uh, the heart rate is uh, slow due to effect of medication or the any toxic exposure, you know, this must be treated medically, you know. And uh, an external device known as pacemaker implanted into the chest to stimulate the heart, which is the preferred treatment for certain types of uh, bradycardia, you know. And you know, the low heart rate call, uh, could in, uh, indicate the medical problems, okay? And m you need to make an appointment with the doctor for further evaluation, you know, okay? And sometimes uh, uh, a slower heart rate could indicate a medical emergency, you know? And it's very important uh, to call the emergency services straight away if you are, have the slow heart rate around someone uh, around you who has the slow heart rate which is accompanied by the dizziness, loss of consciousness, chest pain, confusion, passing out or fainting or problem in uh, breathing you know or difficulty problems you know or weakness you know or if he has arm pain or pain in the jaw or the visual changes, severe headaches if uh, skin color changes to pale, you know, or uh, uh, bluish skin color, you know, or disorientation. So if the slow heart rate is accompanied by any of these symptoms, you know, it could be a serious problem, you know. So call the emergency services straight away, don't waste your time, because every second matters in that uh, situation, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesintreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information every day. Thank you. Goodbye. See you soon.